to my Wednesday Wednesday video, and I know I said I was going to do some update on like my top ten authors I want to read, but I ended up getting my second quarter David's Tea Box, so um, I'm just going to like cover up the address thing here, and you can see that's the box. Um, it is pretty big, and as I mentioned before, this is something new that David's Tea is trying this year, and also something new that I am trying, obviously. Um, it's basically you pay for a year-long subscription to David's Teas and they send you out boxes once a quarter. So you get one in January, one in April, one in July, and one in October. Um, the first one was pretty good. It had a lot of really good teas. I actually have a little bit of tea left from there. I'm almost done with it, but I, I have a lot of tea. So let's see what's in the, this one. The first thing you see, obviously, is some big cups which is kind of nice. My family will grow them. Like I have a ton of these like straw cups everywhere. So it looks like the most obvious non-tea item here is it's got the cups with straws. It is getting like all caught up in here. I'm surprised. That's really noisy. Sorry. Um, so, you know, just like cups with the lids and the straws. Very nice for iced tea. So that will be They'll definitely get used. I'll have to find room in my cabinet for them. Uh oh, I just had kind of a crap on that over here. I'm going to move this chair over so I have something to put all the stuff on. All right. Now let's go through what we got here. Um, like that last time, there's a pretty hefty book that comes along with it for the Tea Tasting Club. And they have um, a thing on the teas that you have. So it looks like the first one... We got this time is Bumbleberry Burst. This is a low caffeine puree tea um, with mainly apples, raisins, ginger, hibiscus, elderberry, beetroot, candied ginger, carrot, blueberry, raspberry. I have never tried this, so I'm super excited to try that one out. Sounds like it would make a really good iced tea. All right, the next one they have in the book is Blueberry Fields, and I have had this, and it is very good. Um, this is an oolong tea that has, it's a very, like, fun color, and it has um, hibiscus, bean peel, blueberry, pomegranate, blueberry leaves, elderberries, violet blossoms, butterfly pea flowers, which that kind of gives that really, like, blue color. So, very excited about that. Another low-caffeine tea, and it really does... Um, tastes kind of like blueberry jam. So excited about that one. The Bumbleberry Burst is a new tea. All right, the next one they have in here is Hibiscus Splash, which I do have some of that right now, but I really like it. It is a fruit one, and it's very much like fruity. They say pink pineapple punch. So it's very like a punchy kind of tasty thing. It's a, with sweet pineapple, tangy hibiscus, and tart cranberries. It's a fruity, caffeine-free blend that tastes like a tropical punch. So, yeah, excited for that. Lots of good, like, iced tea stuff, which makes sense as we're going into the summer. Um, the next one that's in here is another brand new one from them. That's Maui Madness. And it says, from sweet pineapple to tangy and citrus orange peel and purple sweet potato, escape to your own beach getaway with the most refreshing tropical tasting tea ever. So it's candy, pineapple, purple sweet potatoes, apples, orange peels, natural Pineapple flavoring, kiwi, marigold flowers, and flavoring. So there you go. Maui Madness. Excited to try that. Um, there's another one coming up here that I have not tried before. And that is Oak Milk Latte. This is a mate tea. Another low caffeine. It says from sweet rich oats to a roasted coffee flavor. Power up your day with this all-in-one latte featuring creamy oat milk. No, it's mate and chicory root. So it's got apple, roasted mate, gluten-free oats, fennel, coconut raspberries, coconut rasps, sorry, coffee and cream flavoring, coffee and cream flavoring, rubose black tea, coriander, brittle pieces, which are sugar and hazelnuts, carob, coffee leaves, roasted chicory root, black tea, and stevia. I'm not a big fan of ones that they put stevia in because I tend to get headaches from it if I have too much of it. But usually in the small amount that's in the tea, it's pretty good. So that would be good. That might be a really yummy, like, iced latte type thing to have. And that one is a new one. Another new one they included in here. So that was the oat milk latte is peach zing. 
So this is another herbal herbal tea, and it says hydrate from the inside out with a modern melange of invigorating ginger and flavorfully ripe peaches. Sweet yet sharp, it's super smooth iced tea smells as good as it tastes. So it's got candied ginger, ginger, apple, hibiscus blossoms, peach flavoring, and peaches. So that'll be again lots and lots of good good teas in here. Oh, and this next one I've had. And that is Pink Flamingo. This is really good. It's a very like, um, it almost tastes like lemonade, <laughs> kind of. Pink Flamingo, but from a tea perspective. My son never understands when I'm like, oh, this tastes like cherry juice, but it's like a tea cherry, not like Kool-Aid cherry. Anyways, so chill vibes only. Try this sweet citrusy cocktail of oranges, tangerines, and lemongrass. Sound irresistible? Try it iced in a martini glass with a paper umbrella. So this is apple, carrot, hibiscus, blackberry leaves, eucalyptus, lemongrass, um, natural flavorings of orange and grapefruit, beetroot, oranges, and tangerines. So this is really good. This is, I don't like it quite as much as the electric lemonade, but it does have a very like lemonade -y, pink lemonade -y type of taste to it. And then lastly, they have the strawberry lemonade, which I've had before. This is also pretty good. Um, how do you make lemonade even more delicious? Just add sweet, juicy strawberries. So it says apple, hibiscus, sweet blackberry leaves, candied papaya, um, strawberry and lemon flavoring, lemongrass, beetroot, strawberries, and marigold blossoms. And a lot of these just make really pretty teas. Like they're very like pinks or purples or even blues. Um, I know the last time my parents came over for, we ate outside for, I think it was Father's Day or Mother's Day. And I had made some like, some of these teas, like the electric lemonade, I think the strawberry one. Uh, they were like, oh my God, this iced tea is amazing. And I'm like, yeah, well. Um, so there you go. Uh, what else do they have in here? They've got, you know, how to do, how to steep perfect iced tea, which the way I make iced tea is I actually have a kettle that I can set to a temperature, a big electric kettle, and I just set it up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit for herbal teas. And I, you know, get the water hot. I put like three to four scoops of one of these into, because I make like a 32 ounce picture, picture of it, um, into a giant tea bag. It's like, you know, they have the little refillable ones on Amazon. You can get bigger ones. And I put that in the pitcher and then I pour the 200 degree F water on it and let it steep for the required amount of time. And then I will pull it out and put it in the fridge overnight. So I prefer to do it that way. You can cold infuse them as well. You can just stick the stuff in the tea bag and put it in the fridge with cold water and that will taste a little bit different. It's a little not, it's not as strong and it takes a couple days for it to steep. Um, the other thing I've done is if I'm making like a really big pitcher, like a 64 ounce pitcher is I will go ahead and steep this in hot water for the right amount of time. And then I'll fill out, fill up the difference with like room temp water and then leave that in the fridge overnight with the tea bag in. There's a lot of different ways to do it. <laughs> and it can taste a little different if you cold brew it or do you know, whatever. But um, and then they, of course, have the T101 that tells you, like, all the optimum steeping times and how to make iced tea, how to make iced tea popsicles, which would be kind of yummy, how to make a couple different drinks, Maui Punch with Maui Madness, uh, how to use the magic iced tea on the go -Ka. I guess these are color-changing cups, it looks like. It looks like the David's Tea logo actually changes color when they get cold. Um, you can look up your iced tea sign. So let's see. I am Cancer, so that would mean that I, I Gaiokuro Yamashiro. Traditional with a hint of sophistication, Gaiokuro Yamashiro is a perfect match for Cancer. It's full of antioxidants, amino acids. I don't even really know what kind of tea that is, but that's kind of cute. And then they have a little thing for a free iced tea and then, you know, a uh, crossword puzzle. Or a word search puzzle, not a puzzle. There you go. Um, very excited. I think that this was a really good selection of tea. Pretty much perfect for the summer. Um, yeah, I've been really pleased with this. I like having, especially right now, like having a lot of varieties of tea is just fun for me. I kind of like a lot of varieties. Since we're still not going out very much, um, it's very nice to have this big variety of tea. And I really do like these little straw cups. Um, I have too many of them probably already, but I will definitely use them. And extra straws is always good. Um, yeah, I 
thought I'd do this really quick. I know I'm probably not looking as fancy as normal. We just, we literally just got back from camping like half an hour ago. So I need to go take a bath and a shower and finish unpacking. But I thought I would very quickly do this tea unboxing. And I probably have a ton of fuzzies on me because I had a sweatshirt on over this black shirt because it was a little chilly. Um, we were up north on the North Shore in the Two Harbors in Duluth area doing a lot of hiking and just kind of enjoying being by Lake Superior. Um, it was probably in the low, low to mid 50s, so it was really nice hiking while there, but it was um, kind of breezy by the lake, especially this morning when we were packing up. Um, we definitely had to wear sweatshirts and gloves for part of it. So it was nice though. It was nice to do our first camping trip of the season. Everything went really well. And now we're back home and I came home to my Davis Tea subscription box. So I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. And I will talk to you guys on Saturday for a stack in the shelves. Bye.